Well, here at RTP, companies are leading the way when it comes to AI, and in this case, using those powers for good. Nearly one in five Americans with health insurance has had a claim denied before, and now a new app developed right here is making it easier to challenge those cases. For Neil Shaw, the darkest time in his life was when his wife was battling cancer. Chemo wasn't working. She'd lost all her hair. You know, it was like really kind of touch and go on what's going to happen. But at the same time she was fighting cancer, Shaw was fighting their insurance company who denied their claims even when she needed help in the ICU. You remember specifically at times when somebody's extremely ill and worried about dying that you are spending four or five hours arguing on the phone with the insurance company. The amount of stress it adds to your life right when somebody's already sick. Uh, it's like I think it I literally think it's killing people. Thankfully, she's been in remission for years, but Shaw never forgot what happened. When I was going through that for my wife's care, I just thought it was us. We had bad luck. And now, with the help of artificial intelligence, insurance companies can flag and deny your claim in just seconds. Before, you used to have a reason why you denied it, and you used to have a doctor review or a nurse review. But once AI rolled out, they could just have the AI deny it. It's why Shaw decided to use the same AI technology to turn the tables. He brought in Ria Jadov, who worked with patients at Johns Hopkins, here to the Triangle to help fight back. I think my first instinct is to just listen to them um, and then like hop on to, okay, like what can we do next? She's now the co-founder of Counterforce. Their AI app helps people fight their claims. They say they have a 70% success rate, but some cases are harder, including a patient denied an $18,000 a month cancer drug. It was really heartbreaking because they have so much evidence uh, backing their case. They have a lot of doctors t telling them that this is the only drug that can help you. Still, the insurance company keeps denying it. They showed us how it works. This system lets you upload your long insurance coverage document, so then your denial letter, and combines them to create a medically-based analysis that you can print and send in. For a doctor to write this, it's not rocket science, but it still takes hours. So far, thousands have logged on, and they've even taken it on the road to parts of rural North Carolina with limited internet, hoping an AI solution can solve a human problem and a broken system. And sometimes when enough people get loud, enough people put pressure, then I think all of a sudden society wakes up. So I feel like it's really about to click. Now, Counterforce is free online, available for anyone to use. They say typically when those challenges are filed, they can sometimes get responses within a couple days from the insurance company. At RTP, Tom George, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.